Hank, keep your hands steady, just like we practiced on the range. I just... I don't want to miss. Well, then you won't. With all your newfound fame and fortune, you must be beating the ladies off with a stick. No. Well, there is this one girl. <laughs> I knew it. Name. Kimberly, but she's just a friend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she's actually kind of cool. We both like a lot of the same things. I was thinking about asking her to the dance, but I don't know. What? Go for it. How? Just call her up. I'm not a big phone person. Plus, she lives just next door. That makes it easy. Just go up to her and ask her out. Not my style. OK, look, here's what you do. Hey, Tommy. You want to go ride bikes? Chris, she said yes. Way to go. Wait, do you even know how to dance? considered exploring a lighter genre. Well, Leslie. May I call you Leslie? Dad, it's, it's no more mystery than life. Why are we here other than a hot pastrami sandwich and Beethoven's fifth? It's all suffering and misery. It's a feeling no child should have to experience. Book today, Lucas? Nope. Just me. Anything on your mind? I'm mad at my friend Chris. He's a liar. Why do you say he's a liar? He always talks about living when he's actually dying. So you think he should focus on the fact that he's dying? Guess you have a point. You stop right there, young man. What do you think you're doing? Don't you dare ruin this for us. Maybe it's time that we give Lucas a little break from these interviews. How long have you been making these movies, Lucas? A while. What do you like about filming funerals? Do you show these movies to your parents? Not really. Why not? I don't think they like them. What kind of movies do you like to watch? The good kind. Evil Dead, 
Army of Darkness. Psycho. Time up. I'll let you know when we're done.